What up, people? Coach V, New Breed Boxing. When is it okay to fight? And when are you a bitch if you don't? A lot of people have been, been asking me this question exactly like that. I love it. You guys are great. Give me some really good questions, man. I know that most of these questions are definitely coming from younger people because when you're younger, you really don't give a shit and you're willing to pop off at the drop of a dime. And that's just what it is. You got nothing to lose and you really don't care. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't stop as you get older. It just slows down. You know, this is a, I'm sure people out there that would like to punch your grandmother in the face because she cut them off in traffic or something. But some things you just think twice and you do your best to uh, preserve your life because me personally, I could tell you from my experience, me growing up in Brooklyn and you know back in the 90s, everybody seemed to be an action hero and daily um, violence was just a way of life. People were fighting on a regular basis. You never knew when it was gonna pop off, so you just had to be ready. And um, furthermore, when you put your ego into the mix and you, you know, if you got a little reputation that you're trying to uphold, it's very easy, again, to accept every invitation to participate in your own self-destruction. Take it from me, I have lost tons of time and money on bail, lawyers, all kinds of stuff that I definitely regret. Because as I got older, I started meeting people in, you know, better, I guess you could say better circles of life um, that were much older than me that told me that they never had a fight. When I heard this, I was like mind boggled, my jaw dropped. I'm like, wait a minute, you're 55 years old. You, and these are not people that stay home. These are people that have traveled the world. You know, people that are social people, you know, and they never had a fight. And I can say that that's all attributed to the fact that they are thinking with their social brain instead of their reptilian brain. Jumping into fight or flight mode every time you see a little issue, you're not gonna last. You're gonna end up dead or in jail, period, straight up. Now, prevention's better than cure, that's the way I, that's the way I move now. There are certain, as you know, people, places, and things that can almost you can almost guarantee you, I can almost guarantee you they're gonna turn into a violent situation. You know this. If you go to a party where you know every, everybody there don't like you, you know you're getting jumped. Don't go there. If you're in a situation where somebody is looking at you stupid, maybe talking under their breath, especially if you're older, you're out and about in the bars or whatever, try to relocate from where you at. Now we go into the next level. And like I said, everybody should learn how to fight. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you don't think you're even good at fighting. You should still learn some basic stuff because at least putting up somewhat of a fight, if it's unavoidable, that goes without saying. You've got to do something. You can't just, I mean, what are you going to do? Curl up in a ball and let somebody beat you to death? You can't do that. If you put up somewhat of a fight, it'll at least buy you some time to keep from getting smashed out, number one. And B, hopefully, maybe somebody will intervene at that point before, you know, you receive too much damage. Now, if you are a good fighter, now on the flip side, you got to watch out that you're not going to catch a murder charge because you're running around blasting everybody in the face that you don't like. Because that's very easy to do, too. Trust me, even me being on YouTube here, you don't think there's people I see in the comments that I would love to track down and snap their neck in half and use their head for a speed bag? I would, you know, I would tell you it probably happens to everybody hundred times a day and in their mind they probably killed a hundred people before they reached noon <laughs> but at the end of the day we live in a civilized society somewhat now so you can't think like a wild animal you know what I'm saying you gotta think to yourself prevention is better than cure avoid the people places and things that you know are gonna trigger a certain response from you or from the people you may have a problem with and if you're in a situation where it's completely unavoidable being obviously ready for things to go left i advise you if it's somebody that you don't really know why they don't like you if it's somebody that you got an issue with you know they don't like you that's different that's a, that's a personal situation i can't speak on that if you have somebody you don't know why they don't like you for no reason, they just look at you and they just, you can tell they just want to smack you in your face by the way you look or by the way you talk or whatever it is, they're just judging you. 
avoid them. And if it seems like it's unavoidable, then ask them straight up. Just walk up to them, not watch your tonality. Don't come at them all crazy, but come at them with confidence and say, what's going on, man? I see we have a little something going on here. I just want to know what it is. Do we have an issue that I need to know about? Did I do something to offend you? You know what I'm saying? At that point, of course, you better have your spidey senses on a hundred because they might take off on you or they might just look at you and go, you know what? Nah, I really don't got a problem with you, man. My name is such and such. How you doing? <laughs> I met a lot of people that way. That you just was in the same area as them, you know, males being territorial, even females. And you just, maybe you're both kind of like, you know, people that carry themselves in a, in, a, in a way that you're not really backing down and you know, you're the type of person that you don't really take no, you know, no nonsense. So you cross paths with another individual like that. At first, there might be a little tension if you're not introduced to each other properly. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good opportunity for you to introduce yourself to that person. Like I said, you might turn the whole situation 180 or you, you know, it might turn into another situation. You gotta be prepared for both outcomes. But, um. Again, when you're out there in the street in the world, there's way too many opportunities to lose your freedom and lose your life. One flash of anger could cost you a lifetime of regret or it could physically cost you your, your actual existence because you could be out here scrapping with one dude and you have no idea that he's with somebody else who's a complete psycho with nothing to lose. So like I said, if it's avoidable, avoid it. If you're in a situation where somebody physically confronts you and they cross that imaginary line in the sand, check into the laws in your area. Every place is different. But if they, if they, if you see pre-fight indicators, which are like somebody getting bladed or somebody cocking a fist or verbally threatening you or physically touching you, then I'm gonna tell you the opposite of what your mom probably ever told you. Blast them first. Straight Cobra Kai, baby. Strike first, strike hard and get up at it. Don't stand around giving no victory speech. Blast them as hard as you can first. If they still standing, follow it up with a barrage until they out on their back, and then you get up out of there. That's it. I'm not advising people to run around, you know, doing that. I'm saying that's a last resort. If it's unavoidable, that's just what it is. Because if you sit there and you let somebody hit you first, just keep in mind, the person that lands the first effective blow in a street fight has an 80% chance at victory. Keep that in mind. So try to avoid it. Try to be diplomatic. Prevention is better than cure. Don't go places where you know there could be a problem. Don't deal with people that you know are just animals with nothing to lose. Hope you found this informative. If you did, like, subscribe, comment below. Go check out my Instagram, coach.v underscore. God bless. Till the next time, we out. Out.